An attempt by the Guyana Defense Force to take one of its soldiers out of a class at the University of Guyana failed. But the president of the University of Guyana Student Society, Ganesh Mahipal, is not amused at the disruption it caused. Mahipal said this is the second such incident in as many days at the university. Students reported to me the following morning, which was Wednesday morning, that some GDF officers, they claimed to be GDF officers, came on campus, disrupted a class, SOC 1200, which is Introduction to Sociology, I'm stand corrected on that. But they disrupted the class in order to arrest a student, and their claim is that that student is an army officer who's not on leave. Subsequent to that, as I was gathering information, the following night, which was last night, officers came back on campus, this time with uniforms. About seven of them came, three had uniforms. Three, or two, three of them had uniforms that came back on campus. And they attempted to go and disrupt another class, which is economics, to gather information and arrest the student. The Guyan Defense Force recently put out a notice with the photographs of 10 soldiers and officers it says are absent without leave. Of the ten, one has turned himself in, at least one is out of the country, and another one was removed from a class at the University of Guyana on Tuesday. Mahipal said, as far as he is aware, there is a procedure for the army to follow in cases like this one. I have spoken to the deputy registrar and he did indicate to me that the normal practice when a police is in search of a student or anybody who is a student and, and they need to arrest that student, they would normally um, talk to the registration department, the administration, sorry, and they would get information from the administration and seek their approval before they come on campus to arrest any student. Unfortunately, GDF did not do this. They came on campus, they created havoc, uh, drive fear into students, and I believe it's only fair that the Guyana Defense Force offer an apology to the University of Guyana Student Society. Some of the men identified have said that they only knew the army wanted them when they saw the notice in the newspapers and they believe that the intention of the army is to publicly embarrass them. One senior army official told Capital News that the army is following standard procedures with respect to placing the notice in the papers. He said that in this case, some of those being sought have benefited from training and have not returned to the army. In such cases, he said once they are found, they will be arrested and court-martialed, and they can face imprisonment for up to two years. The Guyana Defense Force has been criticized in the past for what some recaptured AWOL soldiers have described as inhumane treatment. It is a policy of the Guyana Defense Force that any member who stays away from work for more than 21 days without any known reason is considered absent without leave and could be subject to disciplinary action. For Capital News, Roll Collins.